good, man? It's the cleanse coming at you on this thirsty ass Thursday afternoon in the shade with the AC blasting because it is in the triple digits and man, it is not a laughing matter. People are irritated, agitated, dehydrated, all of the aided that you could possibly imagine makes it. All right. And, um, I'm, I'm keeping it cool, man. You know, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm in the shade. I have the AC. I got my, I got my water. I'm, I'm, I'm good. And I, there's been, I think, so much energy that has taken form since the first day of summer, which was what I think yesterday. And it's been kind of just all over the place, creative, crazy madness. It's just been chaos on top of how hot it is out here, at least. It's not hot everywhere, but you know, there's been so much in just a little bit amount of time that since I've had some time to just breathe and take a moment to relax, I have developed a topic to talk about. And it just came so naturally, and that's part of that's part of the discussion. So I think that there, there continues to be this theme, all right, in this reality that, that plays out everywhere, all right? And it also is happening inside of us, and that is the negative, the positive, the good, the evil, the left, the right, the antagonist, the protagonist, the night, the day, etc. okay? And in our minds, in our personalities, okay, it, it takes place through almost energy sometimes almost through voices because follow me if you will there's there's voices in our heads that suggest us certain things and then we respond to it through emotion so when you hear a voice and there's usually a voice at least for, for me that constantly is telling me or suggesting to me what it is i should be doing and doesn't really have a problem making me feel bad about the things that I didn't do that I should have done according to its perspective. And then there's another voice that says, you know what, fuck that, just trust yourself, all right? Those two personalities are what people, at least from what I've seen and experienced, are dealing with on the daily. And it's like no wonder that people are confused they're conflicted, they're contradictory, they're hypocritical, and they really don't know why or they don't understand exactly what is going on. And I'm here to say that for me, you know, obviously it, it might not be applicable to all people watching, but for me, I do my best to not listen to the voice that tells me what I should be doing, okay? Because I find that the should and the would and the could is essentially a fear-based suggestion that distracts me from what it is that I am, okay? And see, this is where trust comes into play because trusting yourself and having faith in yourself like one side of my personality suggests constantly is actually who you are. So trusting in yourself trusting that what it is you are doing is the path for you, all right? And trusting that regardless of what you say and, and what you do and, and where you go and who you talk to, that is all part of the puzzle. And you are constantly gaining pieces. And even when you do listen to that voice that says, look, you should be doing something and you follow through with it and you do it. And, you know, I'm not here to say also that that voice or that side of our personality isn't beneficial because it, it, it is beneficial and there is value to it. And I think that we as individuals need to discern maybe which ones are best for us in any given situation, okay? Um, I just know for me personally, through my life, that I have been blessed with so many opportunities and so many achievements and so many amazing experiences 
by only trusting myself and only trusting in the voice that that reinforces that idea okay the other end of the spectrum where i constantly are looking at what i should be doing okay is never really leaves me fulfilled okay it does give me a sense of relief don't get me wrong but in terms of allowing myself to reveal more of who I am to not only my existence but who I express it to that is where the other end of my personality comes into play okay and, and serves me most when I just trust myself and it's just so interesting because I think that if people experiment and play with that and just trust themselves, like regardless of, you know, all these analytical, logical protocol, um, you know, systematic type of um, curriculums that are thrown out there that, you know, you need to do this and you got to go here and you need to, um, you know, talk to this person to get to this next level, you know, there's no guarantee in that. And, and really, you know, it's just about being at the right place at the right time. And, and often that just happens just so accidentally and so unpredictably. And, you know, you really can't always trust the, the other side of your, of your personality that, that, that suggests you need to do this. Okay. I, I don't know if, I think that we can, again, learn from both ends and find which ones work best for you personally. But I think that it's good to just play with trusting yourself. Like stop worrying so much about, you know, what other people are gonna think or what they're saying, or, you know, even what you might be saying. Because a lot of what you say to yourself is just almost regurgitating what other people have said that stuck to you, that, that have, that, 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 that provoked an emotional response. And that emotional response has what made it stick with you and, and, and almost mesh with your spirit. And, you know, if you stop with all that, just try to cut that shit out and just trust yourself. Whatever it is and how random and spontaneous it may be to do and follow through with, you might be surprised where you end up and you might be surprised what the outcome will be. So this is just me, I guess, rambling. And, and also I want to end the conversation by reminding people what professionals and what the adepts and what the archetypes, uh, I guess, for lack of better words, how they operate. They operate through an effortless frame of mind that everything comes naturally everything comes effortlessly there is no second guessing on on i should be doing this and i and i i i could have done this and you know uh would i get to this place if i do this there's none of that there's this effortless flow there's this there's this divine knowing okay through through animals through nature um through professionals too when you see a professional and they like man they make that shit look so easy yes and I think that if, if more people trust in themselves, that effortless flow will start to pour out into their existence, into their experience. And they will, they will remember who they are. And they will remind themselves how fucking hard they've been making it on themselves for so long. So I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. These are not simple concepts, but remember, you if, if this is something that you can relate to and agree with, then just remember that there's, there's this duel in our minds, one that says we should be doing something and another that says just trust yourself. And you need to play with both, listen to both, and determine which ones are most beneficial in every in, in a given situation and which ones have served you most in your purpose in life. And, and also remember that when you make shit harder than it has to be, 
then you're never really going to be as fulfilled as if in comparison to you just following your effortless gift, the gift that comes effortlessly to you. And professionals, okay, and and masters of elements, you know, whether they be in nature, whether they be in the animal kingdom, whatever, they operate through an effortless frame of mind. And look at all that it's done. So just imagine what you can do if you try to embody that same point of view. It's the cleanse.